everyone, welcome back to another video. Today, we are diving into the Indianapolis Colts' second preseason game against the Arizona Cardinals. Honestly, I wasn't all that excited for this one since most of the starters weren't playing. However, Nick Cross was one of the few who did suit up, and this game turned out to be more important than I initially thought. This matchup showed us a couple of key things. First, it revealed the depth we have on this team. The guys played really well and secured the win. But more importantly, it hinted at the potential of our starting offense. We were running the ball effectively, and the receivers looked solid. Sure, Shane Steichen didn't show his full playbook. It's preseason after all, and he doesn't want to give away too much before the regular season starts. But just imagine the potential of a fully healthy Colts offense with Anthony Richardson, Jonathan Taylor, Michael Pittman Jr., Josh Downs when he's back, and Alec Pierce, along with our tight ends and offensive line. I'm really hoping this momentum carries over to week three of the preseason against Cincinnati when our main guys are back on the field. Joe Flacco and AR, Anthony Richardson, are going to get a lot of reps. Ideally, Richardson will play the entire first half, and then we might see Flacco and Sam Elinger take over in the second half. It's crucial that Richardson gets those snaps. We've seen guys like Patrick Mahomes and C.J. Stroud get plenty of preseason reps, so I'm hoping Richardson gets his turn too. Steichen's decision not to play AR in this game was understandable. He felt Richardson got enough work in during the joint practices with the Cardinals. But with the regular season just weeks away, starting against Houston, we need to see AR out there. Now, as for this game... There were about seven standout players that really caught my attention. First up is Adetomiwa Adebawar. The D-line has been raving about him, with Grover Stewart even saying he's going to be a problem in this league for a long time. He might not be a superstar right out of the gate, but his athleticism and improvement have been impressive. Gus Bradley called him the most improved defensive tackle on the team, and it showed he was all over the field. Another standout was Isaiah Land. He had a big-time sack, a quarterback hit, and a tackle for loss. With Samson Ebukam out with an Achilles injury, there's a real opportunity for someone to step up, and Land might just earn a spot on the roster because of performances like this. The Colts running backs also shined. Tyler Goodson went six carries for 35 yards with a touchdown, and Evan Hull added 26 yards on four carries, averaging 6.5 yards per carry, which is impressive. Even Xavier Scott, who's a bit of an unknown, looked good, rushing 11 times for 55 yards, averaging 5 yards per carry. The running backs really impressed in this game, even though one of Xavier Scott's plays hurt his average a bit. Overall, they looked solid. Another standout, and someone you'll see on the thumbnail, was Nick Cross. He was everywhere on the field, racking up five tackles, three of which were solo, including one for a loss in the run game. Cross was one of the few starters who played, and he's making a strong case to earn that starting safety spot alongside Julian Blackman. I've had my doubts about Cross in the past. Honestly, I would have loved to see a veteran like Justin Simmons in that role. But Cross has shown flashes of high-level play, even if it's been in small doses. Now, it's up to him to keep developing and become a consistent force, especially since the AFC is stacked with elite quarterbacks. Cross is going to be a crucial part of our defense. Another player who stood out was Sigan Olubi. We've talked about him a lot on the channel. It's crazy how the Colts keep finding these late-round or undrafted linebackers who end up playing way above their draft position. Take Zaire Franklin, for example, a seventh-round pick out of Syracuse, or EJ Speed, a fifth-rounder. I'm pretty sure Alubi wasn't even drafted, but I'll have to double-check that. Either way, Chris Ballard has a knack for finding linebackers who contribute big-time, and Alubi was getting a lot of tackles in this game. Ballard mentioned him as someone to watch before camp, and he's definitely lived up to the hype. Jason Bean is another name worth mentioning. He looked electric out there, even though he threw an interception after forcing a pass. That's something he can clean up. But overall, he went 7 of 9 for 94 yards, averaging 10.4 yards per attempt, and added a rushing touchdown. Bean's performance was fun to watch, even though he's our fourth-string quarterback, so I don't expect to see much of him during the regular season. But he certainly made this game more entertaining. Laquan Treadwell, a former first-round pick, also had a decent outing with seven catches for 22 yards, including a 19-yard long. Treadwell could make the roster, though it's not a sure thing. Our receiver depth looks pretty strong right now, especially with Josh Downs likely starting the season on the sidelines. Guys like Juwan Winfrey and Greg Ward have also shown promise. Anthony Gould is definitely going to play a big role. He's a starter on special teams and a deep threat. 
DJ Montgomery seems solid too, though I'm not exactly sure what Treadwell's role will be. But we've got a lot of receivers who can make plays, and that's why the receivers looked so good today. Sure, they're third and fourth string guys, but they're high-level players for that tier. In terms of other standouts, that's about it from what I noticed. Colts Wire's articles seem to echo the same sentiments. We can quickly go through some stats. We already talked about the running backs and quarterbacks. Defensively, we held the Cardinals in check, and penalties really hurt them. They had 13 in total. Those penalties definitely hurt their chances. Without them, we might not have come away with the win. Matt Gay did miss two kicks, but he had a different holder, so I'm not too worried about it since it didn't cost us the game.